that first of all by doing the intro. So, Anna, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prize is today, please. Hi, everyone. I'm Anna from the Whirlwind Collection. Today, I'm going to be representing Bakuti and Tara in Aruba, and our prize today is £50 or $60 in an Amazon gift card. Super duper. Thank you very much. We've also got John. John, this is your first webinar with us. Yeah, so go easy on me. Um, greetings, everybody. Uh, John Hardcastle here from Marriott All Inclusive. I'm here today to talk about a few of our hotels on beautiful Barbados. And our prize is £50 or 60 US dollars in my booking rewards. So good luck. Super to the, duper. Thank the you. Attendees. Thank you. Thanks, John. We'll, we'll go very easy on you. Don't worry. <laughs> and we've also got the lovely Charlotte. Charlotte, hello. Lovely to see you. Thanks, Sarah. Hello, everybody. My name is Charlotte Drew. I'm the UK based sales rep for Beckway Beach Hotel out on beautiful Beckway, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And the prize today is £50 or $60. Super, thank you very much. Anna, take us to Aruba. Definitely. Right. So I'm going to start off and take you over to the beautiful island of Aruba. So Bakuti and Tara, um, I'm sure a lot of you don't know about Aruba. It's quite a new destination from the UK market with um, British Airways starting to fly in um, from this year. So I'm going to kick off with a short video um, to showcase the destination. I hope that's given you a little taster about what I'm going to tell you about now. So Aruba as an island is quite a small island. It is 20 miles by 11 miles. It's set 15, mile, 15 miles north of Venezuela. So it's actually south of the um, hurricane belt. So we get dry weather all year round, just 13 days of rainfall throughout the year. You can see the capital there is Arendestad, and that's where you will land into. So the brand new flights with British Airways from the UK will actually tag off Antigua, and it's an hour and 45 then down to Aruba. You don't have to change planes in Antigua, you just stay on the plane and then you can go down to Aruba. So it actually makes a perfect twin with Antigua as well. So from Orangestad, it's actually just a short 15 minute transfer up to Eagle Beach, which is where Bakuti is set on. So two, two main beaches in um, Aruba, you've got Eagle Beach, which is where the small low rise accommodation and you've got the Palm Beach, which is where your high rise accommodation, more of the entertainment zone is. You can see it's wide open spaces. It's we are set on Eagle Beach, which is one of the dream beaches of the world. It's an award-winning beach, absolutely breathtaking. I've been to some amazing beaches in my time, and actually just sitting there watching the sun go down on this beach is just breathtaking. It's perfect for adults and couples seeking uh, romance, but also wellness as well, or those just wanting to relax completely. So we are adults only. We only take ages 18 and above. We're 104 rooms and suites. We're offering an intimate atmosphere at the resort. So we don't take groups of any kind at the resort at all. 
We're voted number one hotel in the Caribbean and, and uh, for romance and also top 25 hotels in the world. So we've got some really, really fantastic accolades at the resort. So you can see wide open spaces. We are we set our sun lounges quite far apart to ensure that our guests have um, the utmost in privacy. We also offer a sun lounge of booking system. So guests don't have to get down to the beach at six o'clock in the morning. They can pre-book their sun lounge and just arrive anytime they want to. 14 acres of powder white coral sand. So the sand never gets hot in Aruba because it's made of coral sand and, and shells there. And you can walk for miles. There's literally next to no crime on the island. So it's very safe to just wander and go for long walks along those beautiful beaches. Curated romance, as I mentioned, we're number one resort for romance in the Caribbean. Idyllic location, absolutely stunning uh, sunsets there. You can honeymoon like a celebrity. So we really do cater for honeymooners. And if you want to have this option, we'll fast track you through customs. We'll offer a private car transfer and then also your own private area to have a champagne reception on arrival and a private tour of the resort. So it's a really, really lovely way to actually arrive at the resort. We've got more space and privacy than any other resort in Aruba. And as we are just 104 rooms and suites, it is a boutique resort. And we offer a very personalised service. It's one of the things that struck me when I actually um, stayed at the resort was actually how personalised the service is. And they really are on it. Everything's taken care of and very quickly for you as well. So in terms of dining um, for our couples, we can offer two sittings in the evening for our sunset dining or moonlit dining. And they can tailor a menu according to what your guests would like. So it, it, it's $200 per couple, but it includes champagne, wine and a three course meal. So I think it's really, really good value for our honeymoon. It's a beautiful location watching the sun go down there. And it, yeah, you can actually do the movies and the stars. So twice a week we offer this for all of our guests, different movies at different times. And they can just go and relax down on the beach. Really, really a quiet atmosphere and watch a movie together there. We also offer a sunset catamaran cruise. So perfect way to watch the sun go down. You can um, take uh, go on board the intimate sail, sip your favourite beverage. And we've also got an open bar there. So it's all complimentary for our guests. We offer live stream micro weddings. So as we don't offer groups of any kind, we will only take a maximum of two rooms per booking. So really, it might be the, the, the bride and groom and their parents. We don't take any groups at all. So we actually work with um, a company to live stream these weddings and they can actually deliver the ceremony to their friends and family at home. So in terms of dining at the resort, we do have just the one restaurant. And the, and the reason why we have just the one restaurant is actually Aruba has got over 300 restaurants to choose from. And as I mentioned, there is literally next to no crime. You can wander out. You can go and walk to all of these restaurants. And it's anything from pizzerias right the way up to your fine dining. But we also do have a fantastic restaurant element. It's a Michelin star chef, a spectacular oceanfront setting. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And it is an award-winning restaurant. So it's voted USA Today's number one restaurant in the Caribbean there. And it's all sustainable seafood, natural meats, and also locally grown produce. And this goes with our sustainability, which I'll talk a bit about in a minute. We do offer an extensive vegan menu at the resort as well. We're the first resort in Aruba to, to launch our vegan menu. And we cater very much for special diets. That's vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free menu options at the resort. And again, this goes with our sustainability there too. Those that want a little bit more than bed and breakfast, we don't offer all inclusive. And again, we want to support those local um, restaurants in the res in, around the area. So we don't offer all inclusive, but we do offer a half board dine around option. So guests will have six restaurants, including elements that they can go and choose from locally. Um, and that will all be included in their dine around program there as well. We then got dining on the beach or by the pool. It's a red flag system and our, and our staff will come down and serve food and drinks throughout the day on the beach to our guests. We then have a chef's table and that's actually been completely refurbished at the moment. It's going to reopen later this year. It's going to really offer a fantastic dining experience of five to eight courses. It's also open for guests that aren't staying at Bakuti as well. It's a really, really lovely experience. So we also offer a fantastic wellness program at the resort. So it's a curated wellness program. We offer a daily complimentary activities. So that might be something like Tai Chi, yoga, Pilates, meditation or beach walks. And those that want more, we work with wellness specialists across the island to tailor make a program in four areas. And that may be nutrition, fitness, mental well-being and mindfulness, depending on what the guests would like. 
We do have a small um, spa facility with two treatment rooms. We have actually just had planning permission to build a brand new spa with a, a new pool, a two story spa. But at the moment, it's a smaller facility, but we do have a full extensive menu there. And we also offer our beach cabana for, for treatments there and couples treatments are on offer too. All of our equipment is fully sustainable, so it actually delivers energy back to the grid rather than taking it out. And it's actually fantastic equipment. It's a really, really great gym um, that we've got at the resort with all sorts of different equipment from bikes to elliptical trainers and cross trainers. We also then have the meditation hut. So this is where we do some of our activities for the wellness program. And in terms of our rooms and suites at the resort, we have, as I mentioned, 104 rooms and suites, and we lead in with our superior garden view. This does actually have a side sea view, but we don't want to oversell it. So we do call it a garden view. They're absolutely beautiful contemporary rooms with the most comfortable mattresses. And we also do provide clean air with our filters and, and filtration systems that we've got in our room. We then move on to our deluxe ocean front, which are very similar on the interior as our superior garden view. But you've got the absolutely fantastic view of the ocean there. So they're really, really beautiful. We've then got a dedicated honeymoon suite, honeymoon wing. So it's called the Tara Wings with 48 honeymoon suites. These were actually designed by our honeymooners. Everything our honeymooners want, we put into these suites. And I don't think this, this image actually does it justice, but they wanted a bed where overlooking the ocean, beautiful balconies. They've got the separate um, sitting area in there as well. And they're really modern contemporary suites. The top of the Tara Wings, we've then got our fantastic penthouse suites towering over the ocean there. You've got a really extensive balcony and you've also got a living space and a kitchen area. We can do grocery shopping for your guests prior to their arrival or during their stay as well. So we are all about sustainability. We were the first carbon neutral hotel in North America. We are Green Globe Platinum. We've also got brand new solar panels where we can heat water for our guest rooms and our laundry. We're 20% solar energy. We've got the lowest pet occupied room of electricity usage in Aruba, and we also source local suppliers and products made in Aruba. So we, we also then move on to supporting our community efforts. So our owner, Ewell Beemans, is champion in, in this, and he um, in turn led to the banning of single-use plastics in the 80s in Aruba, and he's gone on to do much more. He's actually donated 30 acres of land, which will be reforested and served as a carbon sink. And we hope to become carbon negative over the next 15 to 20 years there as well. We do also have the carbon offset program uh, for our guests to use. So Aruba Adventures, so much to do on this fantastic island. As it's quite a dry island, it's very desert-like on the interior. But on the outside, you've got the beautiful beaches, the stunning crystal clear water. You can go diving, snorkeling at the reefs, glass bottom kayaking, and also visit one of the many 300 restaurants um, across the island there as well horseback riding you can go to Arikok National Park and this really is a stunning place to go and visit you can swim off the rocks there or go and visit the arid countryside in or do some adventure tours through the National Park kite surfing as it's quite a windy island we've got lots of different adventure water tours there as well so why would you come to Aruba and Bakuti we have fantastic weather all year round an average of 13 days rainfall annually so if you want if your guests want to come in September come in September it will have fantastic weather We've got some of the most stunning beaches in the Caribbean and the world set on Eagle Beach there. One of the safest islands to visit, over 300 restaurants to choose from and a very vibrant nightlife. We've also got a fantastic array of activities to choose from, including the fun adventure activities to explore in the National Park. The Kuti itself, we do have a wide range of nationalities. We have British, we have American, Canadians, Italian, Dutch. So it, we are very global uh, from where we get our guests from. So... And that really just tells you a little bit about the Kuti and Aruba. So thank you for listening. This, you can find my details here. I am on Facebook and Instagram and my email address here. And I will follow up with some information after this. Thank you very much for listening. Super. Thank you very much, Anna. That beach. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's like heaven. <laughs> yeah, stunning. Yeah, you've got a few comments um, that have come through in the chat option um, from people okay. that have done visits or people who are looking for Aruba at the moment. So I'll leave you to go and uh, speak to those. Thank you. So now we've got John. John, hello. Hello. Take us to Barbados. To Barbados, right. Hold the line, caller. Right, here we go. Okay, great. Okay, so welcome, everybody, and welcome to All Inclusive by Marriott Bonvoy. Um, so as you know, my name is John. I'm senior sales manager here in the UK and Europe for, for Marriott All Inclusive. 
Um, my contact details are on that QR code. So don't worry if you haven't got your phone handy, I'm sure you'll pick it up on the, uh, on the recording. But if there's anything you need in follow up to today, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, here we go. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way, John. Sorry about this. Why is it not moving forward? There we go. Okay, so I just want to talk about All Inclusive by Marriott Bonvoy very, very quickly before I start. It's quite a new concept for, for the Marriott family. Uh, and we've got a big focus on the Caribbean and Latin America in years to come. Um, you can see some of the brands there that you'll already be familiar with. Um, so watch this space for updates, uh, exciting new openings over the coming years, but it's really, really exciting. Um, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on our Barbados properties. We've got some very, very exciting times ahead. Um, so I don't know if you've seen the, 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 the communication that was sent about four weeks ago. Um, all seven properties on Barbados will undergo a full refurbishment plan. Uh, Marriott's are investing 100 million US dollars across all seven properties. Um, and this has always been in the plan since Marriott made the acquisition and bought Elegant Hotels uh, back in 2019. So we're really, really excited to have finally shared the dates, the timelines with you. Again, if you need more details on each property and exact dates, then please feel free to drop me a note. But hopefully the seven hotels on the right hand side there that are Elegant Hotels, you will be familiar with. Um, I just wanted to, first of all, give you a little bit of an update um, on, on what's happening with the brands. Um, upon reopening after refurbishment, some will close, some will partially close, but upon reopening, um, all, all hotels will rebrand um, under the, the proudly prestigious mark of Marriott's finest brands, which is luxury collection, autograph collection, or tribute portfolio. Um, sadly, the Elegant Hotels brand will disappear, uh, that will phase away. Um, which is very sad uh, because there's a lot of heritage and history there. They did try to make it work, but unfortunately it's so unique on Barbados, they just couldn't make that work. Um, it's really important for me to get across that the values of each hotel will remain the same and the new refurbishments are actually an enhancement and an upgrade to the current hotels. So your guests, your clients will still experience what they know and what they love about each property. Um, the images I'm going to share with you today are purely mood boards. They just give you an idea of what's to come, a bit of a taste of what's to come. Um, they are absolutely by, by, by no means the finished article because we don't start until September. But hopefully the updates will give you an idea of, of what's around the corner. Um, as today is about luxury, um, I'm going to highlight a handful of the properties. Uh, of course, 15 minutes isn't, isn't nowhere near long enough to talk about all seven. But I just wanted to highlight all, uh, some of our, our luxury properties. Um, just to give you an idea of, of what's around the corner. So I just wanted to start off with, with Treasure Beach. Uh, Treasure Beach by Elegant Hotels is one of our adult only properties. Uh, Treasure Beach will completely close on the 1st of September this year and will reopen again mid-December. Um, those that are familiar with uh, Treasure Beach will know that it's a, an adult only property. Um, and it is a, a property that enjoys a fantastic location on the west coast of Barbados. So Treasure Beach will adopt the autograph collection. So this gives you a look and feel of what's to come with Treasure Beach. Uh, and what we've done with each, we, with each of our hotels, we've introduced three pillars, uh, three words, three really powerful words that kind of get the message across of the, the, the look and feel of the hotel. A lot of the questions we get asked are, John, I've got these clients, they're, 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 they're a couple, they're active, they're, they want a bit of well-being, they want, they're, they're into their food and dining. So hopefully the three pillars for each hotel uh, will, will get that message across. Um, Treasure Beach will be identified as enriching, engaging and relaxed. So this is kind of the look and feel that we're going for for Treasure Beach. Again, guys, just to be, just to reiterate, this is not the finished article because work hasn't started yet. And as and when work carries on, we'll be able to update you with images and, and content and so on and so forth. Um, so for those that are familiar with Treasure Beach, you'll know um, uh, that we're now introducing a bit more colour. Um, we'll be keeping the theme of the very fashionable, uh, very arti artist theme. Uh, Treasure Beach is, is one of our two adult only properties, only 35 suites. Uh, with a fantastic location and it's a great hotel for weddings, for buyouts, for groups, corporate opportunities. So, so do bear that in mind. Um, so lots of colour off, off the back of a, uh, a really good neutral base, active pattern of sense. You can see uh, just by the introduction of colour what a difference this is going to make to the hotel. Again, this is just kind of the look and feel of what the outside is going to be. So Treasure Beach 
uh, boasts a fantastic tree right in the centre of the property, right near the pool. Um, there is talk of an infinite pool, infinity pool being introduced here. Whether that comes off or not, we don't know. But this, again, just gives you an idea of what's to come uh, with Treasure Beach. Uh, we're really, really excited about this property uh, and we, we can't wait for it to, to close its doors and get, get the refurbishment plan that it deserves. Second property um, we move on to is the house by Elegant Hotels. So uh, the house is our second uh, adult only property um, and that forms part of the complex on, on the west coast of Barbados. As you can see, it affords a fantastic position on, on the west coast of Barbados. Uh, again, this particular hotel will completely close its doors on the 1st of September, uh, so only a few weeks away, and it will reopen again in mid-December. Uh, similar to the Treasure Beach, adult only, only 34 rooms, um, and it, upon opening, this particular hotel will also adopt the Autograph collection. So I don't know if you're familiar with the house, those that are. Um, the house, as you can see, is very intimate, it's very cosy, it's very, very chic. Um, it's a fantastic hotel because it is like a home from home. It is literally like walking into someone's house. Um, there's no front desk, there's no reception. You literally walk through the doors and it's like being in, in, in the lounge of, of, of a house and then you walk through to the outside. And it's, it's just a fabulous hotel for single travelers, for couples, for honeymooners. Uh, and we're very, very keen to protect the identity and the DNA of what's made the house so successful. So again, this just gives you a look and feel about the what's to come for the house. So again, this is not the finished article and we'll update you as and when we get the updates on that. Um, but think Island Life, Robinson Crusoe, they're using the words barefoot luxury, which is very Maldivian, uh, but that's kind of the concept that they're going for at the house. So as you can see, some fantastic color schemes there, some fantastic decor, uh, and we're really excited to see, to see the finished article at the house. Um, well, a lot of the decor is, is naturally inspired textures, uh, island crafted from, from the local region. Um, and we're really excited to see the finished article here. Outside is, is what it's all about at the house, alfresco dining. There's a very, very social scene. Um, and it's, it's just a very, very, very great romantic hotel, uh, very intimate, very relaxed. Um, and we respect the privacy of the hotel. So as you're probably aware, within the Elegance Hotel portfolio, there's a dine around exchange privilege. So guests can go to other hotels within the portfolio. Uh, however, the house is absolutely um, an exclusive resort that other guests cannot go to the house. But if you're staying at the house, you can obviously take advantage of dining and facilities at the other hotels. So the house kind of ticks two boxes, really. You've got the intimacy, the privacy um, of the house hotel, but you can go next door to Tamarind, for example, and enjoy, uh, and enjoy more facilities there. So very clean, very simple. Again, very, very excited to see the house in all its glory. And that just gives you an idea of the rooms, the decor um, that we're going to be adopting. Again, just to give you an idea of some mood boards there. So very, very excited. And then finally, um, I just wanted to showcase um, another property, our, our third property within the portfolio, um, Colony Club uh, by Elegant Hotels. This is unique in, 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 two, in two ways. Um, it will close its doors completely, sorry, yes, it will close its doors, sorry, completely on the 8th of April, and it will be closed for the whole of summer 2024, and it will reopen again in early September. Um, so Colony Club is very, very unique in that it is the only property within Marriott All Inclusive that isn't all inclusive, <laughs> just to confuse things. So Colony Club um, has a, a European meal plan, so it's bed and breakfast, and guests do have the option if they want to purchase half board and, and full board, so further meal plans in there. Uh, so uh, although it sits under the all-inclusive banner, uh, the concept it is not an all-inclusive property. Uh, and Colony Club will adopt the luxury collection as part of Marriott's branding, uh, which is really, really exciting. So this will be the flagship luxury property uh, within the group. So as you can see, uh, just some mood boards here, just to give you an idea of the look and feel of what's to come. Uh, Colony Club will absolutely continue its theme of very classical, very sophisticated uh, and an elegant property. Um, and as you can see, if, if you think Ralph Lauren, like walking into a Ralph Lauren store or those familiar in the UK with the Ivy restaurants, uh, very French feel, very classical. Um, lots of different colours, and you can absolutely see Colony Club pulling off this, uh, pulling off this decor. It, it really does uh, look amazing, and it's going to be incredible. It really, really is. 
this gives you an idea of the the evening theme um, of what's to come uh, of an evening with the with the bars and restaurants. Um, we introduced a rum bar, uh, a private dining experience recently at Colony Club, uh, and I would encourage any guests staying at Colony Club to take advantage uh, of the rum bar. That's a private dining experience with a rum taster um, and a meal to complement the, the famous drink on Barbados, uh, and that will absolutely continue. This is the room types. So as you can see, um, very fitting with the, with the, with the hotel, um, very fitting with the, the luxury collection property. Um, very fresh and very bright. And I'm delighted to say that this is a live picture um, of Colony Club's new room. So what we've done, we've created three model rooms on Barbados. So we've got one model room at Turtle Beach, which is another property. We've got another model room at Tamarind, and we've created a third model room here at Colony Club. So this picture that you see in front of you is absolutely live and direct from Barbados. This is a picture of the model room of what the new rooms will look like. So if you are planning a visit to Barbados, if you are on island and you want to have a nosy at what's to come, uh, please reach out. We can absolutely make that happen with our hotels. Um, and that gives you an idea of a room type at Tribute Portfolio, at Autograph Collection and Luxury Collection as well. And just to step back very, very quickly, the image on the left is the bathroom. Uh, and again, that is absolutely the bathroom um, as you see it here and now. Um, so I'm really, really pleased to be able to share that with you. And again, when we get the updates through, we will share them uh, as, as soon as we can. So I just want to play a very quick video. It's only, it's only a minute long, so please sit back and enjoy uh, on Barbados. <laughs> Finally, just a reminder um, that we do have a fabulous uh, Marriott Bonvoy Travelizer incentive scheme. So please do take advantage of the QR code and zap the QR code as and when you do get the chance uh, for your chance to earn rewards for your own personal redemption. Uh, there are more details at the website below, or as I've said, just scan the QR code. Uh, the webinar is being recorded, so don't worry if, if you do miss out. Um, Again, 15 minutes is, is nowhere near enough time to talk about seven properties. I've only highlighted three there. We do have similar presentations on the other four properties um, because all seven properties will be receiving uh, refurbishment, uh, some partially closed, some completely closed. So if you need any further information, do not hesitate to reach out to myself or any of my colleagues and we can share them with you. But for now, thank you. And I'll hand you back to Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Super, thank you very much, John. Um... Somebody's been asking for the video. So uh, when you do your follow up, could you be able to send um, the link so that people can download the video? Absolutely. Yeah, no problem at all. Super. Thank you very much. Charlotte, take us to Beckway. <laughs> Absolutely, Sarah. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Charlotte and I'm the UK based sales rep for beautiful Beckway Beach Hotel. Apologies, I'm having a few technical problems. so I'm going to pop my video off just in case it eats up too much um, bandwidth. And I'll just share my presentation now. Okay. Oops. Um, apologies, let me try that again. We could see it, Charlotte. Uh, it wasn't, it didn't seem to be um, scrolling. So sorry about that. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, perfect. Hopefully everybody can see that now. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. Great. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a whistle stop tour of um, beautiful Beckway today. So the first question that people often ask me after how do you pronounce it? So it's pronounced Beckway, despite being spelt more like Bequia, is how do you get to Beckway? So I thought I'd start with this little map because um, it just shows you at a glance where Beckway is. So Beckway is a little lightning bolt shaped island. It's located in the Southern Caribbean. It roughly translates to Island of the Clouds. It's only got a population of 5,000 people and it's seven miles squared. So um, quite small and intimate. Um, despite being seen as sort of a little bit more perhaps far flung, it is actually very easy to reach Beckway. So as you'll see on this map, the main gateway hub to reach Beckway is Barbados. So there's lots of obviously non-stop flight options from both North America and the UK into Barbados over the course of the week. Once you arrive in Barbados, you have a choice. So you can either use SVG Air, which is St. Vincent and the Grenadines Airlines, which is a local carrier which operates year round connecting Barbados to Beckway. It's just a short hop, so flight time of about 40 minutes. Or um, even better, and I'm gonna give you some more information on this, as part of the hotel um, portfolio, we actually have our own private nine-seater aircraft. So during the peak season, so from November to the end of April, it connects both Barbados and St. Lucia to Beckway. So this is Beckway Air. As you can see, it's a lovely King Air aircraft. As I said, it's nine seats. It's luxuriously appointed. So the owners quickly realized that one of the main sort of barriers to business might be getting people to the island for same day arrival. So they solved this very elegantly with the acquisition of this beautiful aircraft. So um, we connect with all of the inbound, major inbound um, international flights. And then it's a nonstop VIP transfer service from both Barbados, which operates about five days a week, and St. Lucia, which is currently just once a week. So the flight time for Barbados is about 26 minutes. St. Lucia, it's even less, it's slightly closer. So you're looking at about 16 minutes. So a really easy connection. Um, it's also a very seamless, um, as I said, VIP service. So once you land in Barbados or St. Lucia, there'll be a representative from Beckway Air with your guest names on a paddle board. They'll ush them across, they'll load all your luggage, the guest luggage onto the aircraft. And then once everybody's on board, we go. So you'll be in resort by sunset, sipping your um, rum punch or your lovely sundowner. Um, and it is by sunset because I should also mention that there's no landing lights on Beckway. So we usually have a 5 p.m. departure. Um, obviously, we try and stretch it as much as we can. We're monitoring the inbound flights the whole time. Um, but we do obviously have to operate during the hours of daylight. So that's how you get to Beckway. Um, let's go back to the island itself. So People ask what makes Beckway special. I think the best way to describe Beckway is it's like the Caribbean of yesteryear. It's almost like going back in time, 50, 60 years. It's a completely unspoiled island, as I mentioned, very small, very safe, very easy to navigate. And it's just got loads of authentic charm and it hasn't really been touched by mass consumers, consumerism. There's no big developments, no high rise shopping malls. It's just very rustic, very charming and absolutely beautiful. So the resort itself is only 58 keys. It's located on a beautiful white sand beach called Friendship Bay. We're privately owned by a Swedish family, the Morstead family, and it's a real passion project for them. So they're always investing in the product um, and they're very hands-on in terms of the day-to-day -day running of the business. So you'll see here, this is our second swimming pool. So we've got two swimming pools. Um, this is a beautiful saltwater infinity pool. So it looks out as far as neighbouring Mystique. So Mystique is perhaps one of the better known um, Grenadine Islands. So it's about three miles away. You can see it on the horizon on a clear day. So very nice option for a day trip over to Mystique as well to do some cruising. So in terms of the style of the property, it's very homely. As I said, we're privately owned. Um, we really want the guests who come back to us year after year to really feel like it is their home away from home. We've got a small team and a lot of the team have been with us since the very day we opened. So it's a really nice kind of personal intimate experience for, for our guests. Um, and it's obviously very unpretentious. As you can see there, it's um, those lovely kind of vintage throwback style posters, um, 
lots of original pieces so no boring cookie cutter rooms that all kind of have got lots of quirks and personality to the um to the hotel and despite being small only 58 keys as i said all of the rooms have a lot of um a lot of individuality throughout them so these are the be beachfront suites we've got 29 of these in total they've all got beautiful uninterrupted sea views on friendship bay there they've all got private balconies as well and you will notice there's no um, televisions in any of the bedrooms. So this is a conscious decision by the owners. We're very eco-friendly, but they also want guests to completely relax when they come and stay with us and just sort of listen to the sound of the sea. Um, but we do have fast Wi-Fi as well, just in case people do need to get online, just um, not the TVs in the bedrooms there. So as you can see, like I said, private balconies, very low rise, you're literally just a few steps away from those gorgeous golden sands of Friendship Beach. And in terms of higher category room types as well, we've got some beautiful pool villas. So these are the two bedroom pool villas. They've all got their private plunge pools, great for families, great for people who are just looking for a little bit more space. Um, little kitchenettes are fully equipped in this room type. And then you've got the lovely um, private plunge pool as well to enjoy. So this is just a few steps away from the beach. Um, we've got three of these in total and they're all sort of cheerful Caribbean colours in terms of the design of the cottage. We've also got our stunning estate villa. So this is four bedrooms. It's nestled slightly up on the hills um, overlooking Friendship Bay. So this is perfect for families. We're a very family friendly hotel. We offer a complimentary kids club year round, um, which is from the age of four. We also offer um, complimentary non-motorised water sports as well, so a bit of kayaking, um, sup boards down on the beach, so those are to be enjoyed by all of our guests. Um, so these, yeah, great, great category for families or for people who are looking to have a bit of an extended stay with us. And in terms of food and drink that we offer, so we've got your classic Caribbean beach bar, so obviously all the favourites on the menu there, very informal all day dining um, can be had at the, at the beach bar. We also serve breakfast, so our rates are breakfast included as standard, and breakfast is served at Bagatelle Restaurant, so it's just located there on Friendship Bay. And in the evening, it really comes alive. We have lots of different um, themed evenings. We do a fantastic lobster buffet night, really recommend that. There's sometimes live music as well, so um, that all happens at Bagatelle, which is where we serve breakfast. Also on site, we have a second restaurant, Blue Tropic. So Blue Tropic is just nestled up next to that beautiful estate villa. So up on the hills, it's open during the peak um, season. So Blue Tropic's much more sort of Italian, Mediterranean influenced cuisine, really intimate. Um, again, kind of quite low key, just beautiful homely Italian flavors. Um, so really recommend a trip to Blue Tropic. And then on the other side of the islands, we um, really recommend a trip to Jack's Beach Bar. So Jack's is somewhat of a Beckway institution. So um, Jack's is located on Princess Margaret Beach. So it's about a 10 minute drive away from um, the main resort. So Jack's, um, as I said, a bit of a melting pot. What's really fun is you kind of don't just get hotel guests um, coming to Jack's. You get locals, expats, the yachties coming. So it's just by Port Elizabeth, which is where there's a lot of sailing. Um, and just a really fun atmosphere. So real sort of sand between your toes dining. They do a fantastic cocktail menu. They do things like jerk chicken. They do lobster mac and cheese. And because it's on the other side of the island, you get stunning sunsets as well. So really nice spot to have some swimming because it's on the Caribbean side. So beautiful still water. Um, we do offer a complimentary shuttle daily over to Jack. So it leaves about 10 o'clock in the morning, comes back at around 4, 5 p.m but taxis are plentiful, they can be pre-booked, so very easy to just go over to Jack's, enjoy the beach, spend the day there, um, and then come back to the resort sort of early evening. I mean, it's a great spot for a sundowner, as you can see from this beautiful image. And then back to the main resort, we do have a small spa as well. So it's much more of a kind of hideaway, rustic spa. So we have um, complimentary guest yoga as well, which happens every week in the yoga um, pavilion. We do really nice sort of alfresco massages. We've got a small air conditioned gym as well. So that's all included for the guests to enjoy. And as I touched upon in terms of what to do at the island itself. So 
Bekwe is just a really calm, um, really sort of chilled out island, but there is definitely some fantastic opportunities to do some island hopping. So as I mentioned, Mystique is one of the neighboring islands. So you can go out and do a day cruise to Mystique. Tobago Keys, highly recommend for some of the most um, beautiful snorkeling and diving opportunities there. Um, or you can go over to neighboring Kanawan as well. So, so um, Bekwe can be a great starting point to explore sort of the wider Grenadine Islands as well. And then finally, I just wanted to tell you about our fantastic new luxury villas. So these are called the Grenadine Hills Estates. So they've been open for just over a year now. So Grenadine Hills is nestled about two kilometers from the main resort up on the hill. Two super luxury villas, um, which are already open and fully bookable. And there is a third villa, which is currently under construction called the Rock Villa. So as you can see here, this is Villa One six bedroom, eight bathroom. It's about 7,000 square foot of living space. Um, really stunning, nothing quite like it on the island, that's for sure. It's much more what you'd find in kind of neighboring Mystique um, or some of the, the larger islands, but beautifully designed. Um, I'd say it's probably much more minimal in terms of the design compared to the main resort. Um, it comes fully equipped with your own team. So you'd have your own private butler for the duration, daily housekeeping, turn down service, we can also arrange for a private chef. So I think the beauty of these villas, these two villas which are open, is you can kind of dip in and out of resort life as much or as little as you like. So they can be completely self-contained. You can have the services of chef, and chef is a very talented guy. He can do everything from sort of sushi nights to local barbecues out on that gorgeous terrace. Um, so perfect for families, perfect for people who are looking for something very luxurious. And as you can see, look at those views um, out to sea. So we've hosted some fantastic parties out here, kind of multi-generational get togethers and obviously being um, quite easy to reach from Barbados. It's a perfect kind of, we've had families coming from both North America and Europe all choosing to meet in Beckway, which has been fantastic and worked really well. So these are some of the, um, the bedrooms. We're actually working on a full video walk walkthrough as well. So as soon as that's complete, um, I'll put it on the website, but we've got a, a dedicated website called grenadinehills.com. There's some more information there. There's some um, floor plans and further images. And this is a second villa. So that was um, Villa One. This is Coral Hills. So this is slightly smaller, only about 500 meters away from, from Villa One. So if you did have a really large inquiry of, um, of clients, then they can actually take over both villas and that has worked really well in the past. Um, so sleeping comfortably up to 10 guests, you've got that 30 foot private infinity pool there, which looks extremely inviting. Um, it's got a little shallow end as well, so very family friendly. We can help arrange for additional childcare as well, such as nannies, if any families would require that. And again, just beautifully appointed as a private um, wine cellar downstairs as well. There's a small gym suite. And if guests wanted to have a shuttle service back to the resort or over to Jack's um, at any time, then that can just be done on demand. So you're very much um, part of the hotel. Um, you can have all the, the benefits of being attached to a, uh, the hotel as well as being self-contained. So, so that's, um, that's Grenadine Hills. If anybody needs any more information, I'm based in the UK, so please do let me know. Um, I'd be delighted to put you in touch with somebody in the team. Um, and yeah, that's it from me today. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Charlotte. I'll always love in Beckway. Um, so we've got a couple of questions that have come up. I know John's been busy answering them behind the scenes. Um, so let's have a look. Um, somebody wants more, Sarah wants more information on the villas um, and costs if possible. Um, so I will, if you can have a look in chat uh, into the question and answers, um, you'll be able to reach out to each other after the webinar. Sarah, just drop Charlotte an email and uh, she'll be able to help you with that if she can. Absolutely. <laughs> Love to. Thanks, Sarah. Um, Jane's asked about Beckway. What other places are there to dine on the island? Is, is there any sort of places nearby? Is there a town or anything close? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, because it's such a small island, um, it's very easy to get around. So they have kind of open back taxis as a kind of default um, mode of transport on the island but yes around where Jack's is there's the Belmont walkway which has lots of small restaurants bars little shops I mean it's obviously a bit more low-key it's not like the west coast of Barbados there's not um 
huge amounts of nightlife, but there's definitely places you can go out and um, grab a bite to eat and drink for sure. Brilliant. You've just answered uh, Giovanna's question as well as how do you get about the island? So um, <laughs> that is good. Um, what kind of food do they have? Is it a mix of everything or is there a specific focus? I'm sorry, is that in terms of the chef for the villas or just generally kind of the cuisine you can get on the island? Yeah, I presume on the island because it just says what kind of food do they prepare? Um, so again, it's a real mix. So like I said, Jack's is fantastic um, for kind of burgers, um, jerk chicken, barbecue. They do a great lobster mac and cheese, which always sticks in my mind because it's so delicious. Um, but on the main Belmont walkway, for example, there's a little pizzeria called Max Pizza. Um, again, quite rustic, you know, just a family dining um, little pizzeria. That's great to go and grab, um, grab a pizza to share. Um, there is another sort of luxury resort on the island called the Liming. So they have a great food and drink offering there too. So it's, it's a real mix, really, depending whether you want kind of more local flavours um, or something a bit different. <laughs> Super, thank you. And do you have any entertainment at the property? Um, yes, we do do themed nights. Um, I know the owner has actually done an ABBA night in the past with the Swedish heritage there. Um, but more, um, it's been more popular to have um, sort of steel drum bands or some um, local musicians singing, which has been fantastic. So um, especially over festive, over the high season when it's, it's busier, there's, um, yeah, there is various entertainment laid on in the evenings. Super, thank you very much. Um, Angelica also wants more information on the villas. So when you get all the stats, ju just go to the Q&A. Um, Absolutely. Super, I think that is the end of the questions. Um, Errol's asking, um, do you have um, an image gallery as well? Yes, oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, I can send all the videos and images as well. Okay. That in the chat now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very, very much. Okay, so um, we just need to go now to the chat option because we're going to test you guys. Um, Anna had to leave us, but she's, don't worry, she's left me her question. So Anna was the very first presentation that we did um, on the lovely um, Tara and Bukuti um, in Aruba. So she wants me to ask you a question. So if everybody can go to chat, make sure that your drop down says everyone. And I want to know the name of the beach. <laughs> she said that it was too easy I agree with her okay so uh gosh lots of questions lots of answers uh Kathleen you were the first person just writing your name down for Anna super thank you very much Neil 104 rooms and 48 suites was you preempting a question there? <laughs> okay, John, do you have a question for us? I do. And mine's probably a little bit easy as well, but hey, it is for me because I know it. Um, okay, which property is not all inclusive in the portfolio? <laughs> oh, got a mix here. Ooh, Okay, hang on, let me go back up to the top. Um, there was one hotel that isn't all inclusive. Okay, the first answer is the colony. That's correct. Colony Club is not all inclusive. Brilliant. Carol. Super, Carol, you've been entered 10 times. Last but not least, Charlotte. I feel like I'm going to do an easy one as well. <laughs> Be kind to everyone. What is the main gateway hub? to fly into to get to Beckway? And it's going crazy again. Right, <laughs> Let me go back up wow. to the top. Okay, do you accept an airport code? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, so Candy said it's BGI, which is Barbados. Correct. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Okay, so you guys have all got 10 entries into the spin to win. I will announce it tomorrow and send you the follow up. Um, on the follow up, you'll have the email address contacts of all of the speakers from today. If you do have any further questions, please do drop them an email, reach out to them, um, and they will all do a, a little follow up, sending you bits and bobs like the videos and links and things. Um, so a big, massive thank you to John, Anna and Charlotte for today's amazing presentations. We love you. Thank you very, very much. And thank you to all of you that have been on um, today and joined us. We've had massive numbers today. So um, it's great. Thank you very, very much. We will see you all next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks, Thanks everyone. All. Thanks, thank Sarah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>